What's up guys, I'm Crazyak, welcome back to To The Moon. So I'm missing one of the baubles. Did I have that at the end of the last episode? I don't know. But anyway, so I just gotta find the last bauble. Is it Nikki? Nikki boy, do you have the last bauble for me? I'm envious that this kid was still there to help him move pianos when their hair grew white. I wish I was still in contact with my childhood friends. No? No bauble for me? Because I, I found that, but I still need a- I th still need the red one. Should I even- No need, I'm all good now. Really? Dr. Watts, you're competent enough to do that by yourself now, are you? Okay, so I'm missing one. I gotta go talk to her. Oh, the platypus. Did I get that in the last episode? Maybe I did. I don't know. Reasons and intents aside, it's pretty remarkable that they actually met in high school. How many of those go on for more than a month nowadays, huh? I don't know about you, but mine went pretty swimmingly. Yeah? So swimmingly, it swam right out the window. Sounds about right. Did we get- did, we did- wait, we didn't get it. Come on, get the thing! I just love how every time we see this thing, we're guaranteed a free memory link. It must have left as big of a scar on his mind as it did on mine. Alright. Okay, we have the last one. We can go break the thingy and move backwards into the past and discover even more about this guy's childhood. Kame! Oh, for walnut's sake. Kame! Hey! Not cool, Eva. Yeah, she's a little less dramatic than Dr. Watts. You never cock block someone in the middle of a Kamehameha. What? You know, she's got a good point. That what there was pretty deserved. Okay, what's the puzzle this time? Do the usual. And then one, two. And then one, two, three. Yay, my trick is working. Can you imagine if they all had diagonals? Like, if you could do a diagonal from, like, any direction? That would just make that, like, impossible. Alright, let's go. Activate. But since there's only one diagonal, you can be pretty sure that it's probably involved, like, 90% of the time. <sighs> okay. How far back are we? So, that's, like, toddler size. This is, like, high school size, so... He's gonna be, what, like, 15 now, probably? I'm going to school now, Ma. Have a nice day, Joey. My baby boy, growing up so fast. So I'm kind of curious what the memories are actually going to be at this point. Also, why did he walk out in silence? Is he mad about something? Anyway, I don't know what the memories are going to be at this point, because he hasn't met River. Ah, what if he was a girl? Would she still nickname him after his grandpa? It wouldn't be that bad, actually, since it ends in E. Yeah, there's actually girls named Joey out there. It's a real thing. Joey, Joey, Julie. Sounds cute. If it sounds cute, why don't you marry him? Ah, jealous? Oh, yes, yeah, so jealous. Dr. Watts, that doesn't even make sense. That just doesn't... That just doesn't even make sense. There, there's no logical plane on which that actually makes literal sense. Okay, so I found the memento. I need to find more memory links, though. Otherwise, we're never gonna get out of here. It's a clock. Well, to be fair, a ticking clock is pretty annoying indeed. Kind of. When I got clocks from my place, I made sure to get silent clocks, because I don't like clocks ticking. Ah, oh, bleh. Not again. A glass of pickled cucumbers. Holy crap, my mind's totally blown. <gasps> pickled cucumbers instead of pickled olives? What is this? You're pretty easily impressed. I know, right? It's like she's talking to me. Anything else up here? There's a book out on the thing, but I can't look at it. I thought it might be that book, The Emperor's New Clothes or something. But that wouldn't make much sense. Facebook's with smudge titles. More smudge titles. No Animorphs. Okay, so I'm missing one. What about her? No, not so much. Oh, what's, what's over here? And that. Okay, apparently exploring the couch was a memory link. I mean, I guess for like a 12-year-old, 15-year-old kid, whatever he is, I guess exploring a couch is kind of important, but still. Like, what? Alright, in we go. Prepare the memento. Oh my. Another six, and this one's hard because I can barely see the back of it. So we'll follow the usual strategy. Yep, and it worked. But it's kind of annoying when they're like really bright, because against the white checkers, they're kind of hard to see. Here we go! We made a soccer ball! Yeah! Activate. 
At this point, we're kind of just like coasting through the memories. We're getting to them pretty quickly at this point. Each one seems to only kind of have one important point to it. Is something supposed to be happening? Ah, it smells like roadkill again. Why are we in purgatory? Where are we? Looks like snowing in purgatory. Eva? What the hell is that? Come on, scroll the camera. Scroll fa faster. Scroll. Uh. Uh, it's the edge of the memory? I don't know. We've encountered that kind of thing before. Oh, okay, I see. What the hell? Is that his house, maybe? The sinister music is telling me this is kind of important, but I'm not sure what that is. That's his next memory. Yeah, but why is it going Laputa on us? Yay, reference I don't get. I don't know, it's just not linking the memories together for construction. There must be a malfunction within the machine's ADG. Again? I, I thought the last face was foolproof for another half a year. I can't believe those idiots in the maintenance department. Look, don't worry. We've already got gotten the teenage years saved. We might still be able to do this. Maybe, except we still don't know why he wants to go to the moon. That's still why we're here. Like, at the very start, like, we have to go back and find out why he wants to go to the moon. We're not even close to that yet. All right, but I am telling him about this. As long as we succeed, he doesn't have to know. What would disjointed memories even mean? That he's trying to like suppress them? Well, I guess this is it. There's nothing we can do here. Ready to finalize before activation? Ladies first. What are we finalizing? Wait, what are we doing? I don't get it. What a shame. I was actually looking forward to it. I don't know what we're doing. I'm totally lost right now. What are we activating? Where are we going? Why are we not trying to figure it out there? Did we just turn off the machine? Act two, apparently. Okay. Billions of lighthouses stuck at the far end of the sky. Okay. I didn't realize, I guess there was act one. I didn't think there was an act two. I thought we were getting close to the end, but apparently not. Hi. Poke, poke. Don't disturb them. They may not wake easily, but they need the concentration. They do need the concentration. Can you imagine that? It'd be like an in Inception, or like at the very start of Inception, when he's in the dream and then they dunk him in the water and then all the water comes crashing through the windows. It'd be like that. Someone would poke you and the whole thing would just like, a giant finger would like crush everything. Hello, old man. Why are you old again? And that's all this old fool knows. Huh? Sorry, I can't be of more help. Then that'll have to be enough. All right, that's all. All that's left to do is linking your registered desire to go to the moon to your early memories. What? So we went back, we explored like a shit ton of memories. Like, how many times did we go back? Like 20? We went back like every two years in his life. We discovered a bunch of stuff about River, yeah, and like his relationship to her. But we never found out about the moon, why he wanted to go there, what he wanted to do there. So we just gave up and came back to try, even though we don't have a reason. Like, this is weird to me. Then we'll pull the switch and voila, you'll be on the moon in no time. Theoretically. I have a question. If you could make Lily disappear, that means you can alter this world. Then, can you not simply make things happen and fulfill my wish here and now? That would work if this were your one true set of memories. What do you mean? What is this then? What am I? This is just a copy, a canvas for us to work with, if you will. As for you, you're merely an algorithm traced from Johnny. Enough to reflect his likeness, but far from complete. All we can do is prepare this canvas in a logically consistent way. And then when we transfer your registered desire to your childhood, the machine will generate your new life, one where the desire dictates your behavior. The result of that would then be written to the real John. So you see, even if we satisfy you, you are merely a read-only program. I mean, we could reset you over and over again, and that's enough. No, don't be so sensitive. He's not real, you know. 
If you truly believe that, why did you even care to explain? I was thinking exactly the same thing as me. He's like, you're just a cop, it doesn't matter. But I'm gonna explain the whole thing anyway. I'm just trying to save time. Let's go. Where are we going now? I don't even know where we're going now. Doctor. Is that what I truly am? Probably? I don't know. I don't know how you even reply to that. Even if you know they're a copy. Are you sure they're a copy? Okay, this is different. Ah, all of our night's work. Uh, that's not all of it. Oh, there we go. There's more of it. I see. So for each stage of his life, he has a different set of, uh, memories. I gotcha. And there's a the soccer ball. So yeah, it's about 20, actually. And then there's the blocked off ones. What was that black thing there? I didn't even see what that was. What are you doing? Why are you a ghost now? What the? At least give me a warning first. Tell me about it. What can I say? I like being ahead. Ha, huh. he's ahead of the game. <sighs> I'd ask if that's a pun, but I'm afraid you'd say yes. Let's do this fast. I feel silly enough in this form as it is. All we need to do is pass his desire from the latest memory to the earliest. Okay, so what exactly am I doing here? Line up two matching mementos on the edge to transfer the registered desire. Okay, so I need to do one more flip. There we go. Next. And then, also, uh, can I flip this one? So I need to do, which two line up? The, oh, hang on. Hang on, I gotta try something here. See, that one needs to line up with this one, but Huh, how's that gonna work? Unless, hang on, maybe, I'm gonna try something here. Okay, so you just have to light up one and then light up the next one, I got gotcha. you, okay. So I don't actually, I thought I had to light them all up at once, which would have been much harder. Hey Eva, check this out. Nom 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 nom. Seriously? What are you doing, Dr. Watts? What is wrong with you? You should be belonging in a mental ward. All right, we're almost there. Um, which two are lining up here? Uh, this thing. Da, da, da. So what is that black thing there? Is that just like a soccer ball that looks kind of weird? I think it's a soccer ball that just looks kind of weird. Da, 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 da. Lit up. Oh yeah. But that's not all of them, so. Did I get like a bad ending? Maybe I got a bad ending where I don't get to actually complete the whole thing. Ding! That's about all the ones we can work with. Ready to pull the switch? You know me, always ready. All right, let's pull the switch and see what happens without the childhood memories. Probably should have examined him while I was there. That's okay. Did it work? All right, let's go check out what souvenirs he brought back from the moon. Ladies first. Not this time, hun. So what is this? Too bad we got a straggler here. No loss, we can do this without him. I know, but it feels incomplete. You get too attached. It's gonna impede your ability to do your job. That's rubbish, don't pin your womanly ways on me. I'm not so sure, I'm studying with Dr. Watts here. I think it'd be kind of important to know exactly what his, his childhood memory was, like what started this desire to begin with. I think that's kind of important, but. Wait, is this where I'm supposed to be? Where am I supposed to be? Okay, I found it, I think. All right, so we're back at moon times. This is the same setting as his real last accessible memory. Usually there's at least some change. Something isn't right. Yeah, the whole world's like black and white. These memories, they feel more than just having happened again. What? They're exactly the same. That's impossible, the desire was transferred, was it not? It was. Yeah, I'm trying to move, okay. But the problem is you didn't get all his memories. Go inside. If this is indeed the same memory, he'd be at the cliff overlooking the lighthouse. Okay, fine. We'll go find him at the lighthouse then. Is he there? Dot, dot, dot. Hi there. I kind of like the imposing music. It's kind of interesting. Johnny? 
What a pleasant surprise. We don't get many visitors around here. Deja vu again. My name is Dr. Ava Rosaline, and this is... What? I'm not saying it twice. Dr. Neil Watts. Are you familiar with the Sigmund Agency of Life Generation? Oh, are you two from the agency? How convenient. I've just been thinking of calling you. Lily, get us some tea, please. This whole thing over again. This is actually deja vu. Lily? And turned off. Freeze him, too. Yep. Okay, so now what? What's the problem here? Other than the fact that I've already figured out what the problem is, that we didn't get all the memories, we need them all. Well? Wait here, I'm gonna go send the desire signal again. See if there are any changes. So, uh, how's it going? It transfers successfully for sure. Any changes? Not even a hair. How could this be? Even if the desire doesn't work alone, why is there no change at all? Perhaps, perhaps it just needs some provo provoking to activate. From his early memories? The earliest we can get to. Let's go. So where are we going? See, I have a feeling that this disconnect is what caused him to forget to begin with, and we still have to repair that disconnect in order to do it. Okay, so what are we doing here, exactly? Johnny's desire to go to the moon might need some stimulation to be brought up, huh? Well then. So what are we doing here? What exactly are we stimulating? <laughs> oh, I see. We're just gonna, like, randomly change the past. What the? This wasn't what they said was playing. Oh, well. Do you mind, River? No. I like this one. Alright, let's go then. She's kind of good with anything they do. Hope that's enough for an ignition. Wait, where's Neil? I don't know. Where is Neil? Neil, are you just like eating ice cream or something over here? Neil, where are you? Found him. Did you see to the moon? How was it? Eh, it's a bit too much pretense for me. I prefer my movies to be a bit more... Oh, je ne sais quoi. Yeah, okay, sure. We'll go with that. Um, I'm missing a Neil. I can't find my Neil. Neil before me? I don't know. Neil, are you watching the movie? Actually, that would be the logical answer. No, he's not in there either. What the hell? Where is he? I entered first through John to check the results. Okay. I thought you were looking for Neil, but okay. To the moon, darling. Oh, Henry. What? Dear Lord, I'm way too tired and hungry to be constructing movies. Oh, Henry. Ah, it's funny. Ah, ha, ha. Guess I should go see if anything's changed with John. Well, that's what I'm trying to do. Sorry for making you sit through this, buddy. I don't know exactly what she's hoping to achieve here. I mean, I get, like, logically what she's trying to do, but I don't think... It just doesn't seem right. Something is totally wrong with this. It's all the same. I'll have to try igniting it somewhere else, then. This is ridiculous. I know, right? I know. L Lily? Okay, so where are we going to now? How far back? Ah, this far back. Perhaps something here could work. Uh, I don't have time for her right now. Well, I was hoping you could use something there. Stuffed toy platypus. Um, so she threw an encyclopedia in your face. Huh? Did she? Shut up. Yeah. What are you guys doing here? It's starting. Let's go get a good spot. What's starting? Wait. I don't remember that happening. Me either. So I must have changed. Okay, let's go find out. Hey, don't squeeze. Don't squeeze what? Well, who is squeezing what's what 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 am a jigger? Hello, people. So what's starting in here? A play? An announcement? A sports event? Wait a minute. This isn't a real change. This is May I have your attention, please? Good job, Neil. Neil, what are you wearing? As you know, I'm a representative sent from NASA in all its glory. And I'm here to tell you all about it. 
Hit it, Timmy! Wow, that was... Wow, I was about to say exactly the same thing! But I digress! Anyways, I know that many of you are wondering... What chances do I have of doing something as awesome as adventuring in another realm? To inhale the sweetness of Venus, to swim counterclockwise through the rings of Saturn. Or perhaps, just chilling at the backside of the moon. Well, here at NASA, we believe that in with enough will, everyone has a potential. It could be you. Or you. Or perhaps... You. But I don't want to go to the moon. And then you're in luck. Wait, what? Why not? Why should I? I'm happy here on Earth as it is. Well, don't you want to go there even a little bit? No, why? Not even a tiny bit? Um, no? Well, you're kind of a buzzkill, aren't you, Johnny? Well, as an official NASA recruiter, I shall go over some facts about the moon. To start off, the moon is 4.5 billion years old. And did you know that its surface is about as big as Africa? It's true. In fact, if you try to bike around the moon... Also, it takes 1.524 sec seconds for light to travel to the moon from here. And if you drive a flying car, it takes 130 days. I knew that. A flying car that could travel in space. That I'd like to see. And last but not least, people who go to the moon get rich and famous. And we all know that rich plus famous equals groupies. So that concludes my presentation. Remember, NASA welcomes any of you, especially if you're a brunette. Good job, Dr. Watts. Represent humans. That's not gonna work. Well, what did you think? NASA probably wouldn't hire you, but I suppose it was blatant enough for this. Hmm, I do try pretty hard. Are you gonna go see if that worked? Of course, be right back. Bye, Dr. Watts. Hi. Back. Report. Utter failure. Deuce. Hey, don't get discouraged. I'm sure there are still things to be done. Such as... Well... Gotta repair that memory. It's the only way. I don't know how, but... It's a place to start. We can't afford to finish building this house, Isabel. We can barely afford to pay for a treatment. But can you afford the Lunar Trip Lottery? If you sell this house, you sure can. Neil, what are you doing? Is the diagnosis certain? Yes, in fact, we barely have anyone. Did you know that NASA has an excellent healthcare plan? It's true for both you and your spouse. Yes, let's just ruin all these touching moments with this. Free pony rides in space! Free pony rides in space? What is this? Robot unicorn attack? Oh look, a wedding, good for you. But here's a riddle. Guess where you should go for the honeymoon? <sighs> Let's just go back and ruin all the memories, shall we? River? What the? He's just like, dynamic glass slippery. Johnny, John, John. Good job, Eva. Represent. What the cucumber? Good job, Neil. Whew. You know what? This just isn't working. It's more than just not working. It's ridiculous. We're freaking professionals. I didn't sign up for my the job to run around yelling at him like an idiot. You didn't? That's what I would have signed up for. Look, maybe this lack of sleep's getting to us. Had I known that we'd be an all-nighter, I would have brought coffee. I agree. You should have seen the movie I constructed earlier. What movie? Exactly. Yeah, you weren't there. He was busy making NASA stuff. Anyway, as valuable as time is here, this just isn't going anywhere like this. Let's take a break till morning. Hopefully Johnny can hang on till then. I do have some calls to make. All right, guess we're waiting till morning.
Turn off the dream machine and step out into the real world. Or not. That's the lighthouse. It's a nice view, though. I think I said that before, but it still is. Um, hi there. It doesn't make sense. Why did the machine have no effect? Johnny's registered wish to go to the moon was successfully transferred, yet... There wasn't even a trace of him wanting to go to the moon after the transfer. Unless... Unless a secondary condition for the desire was changed in the process. Only then would the same desire produce two different outcomes at two different points in time. There's no denying that River played an important role through it all. If there's anything that could have caused the core to change, she would be the top suspect. But out of all things, what exactly caused it? Yeah, I mean, she lived for like 40 years with him. I'm pretty sure there would have been more than one thing that she did. River. Just what exactly did you do? Ah, the sun's rising. I mean, maybe... Maybe it had something to do with the fact that he wanted to stay there because that's where River was. She was more important to him than the moon, so it just kind of became a secondary thing. That would have explained it all the way back in high school when he was interested in her. We don't have much time left. I wonder if Neil came up with anything. Okay, I'm going to stop here for today. I'm going to save. Yep. Uh, which save am I on? I'm on this save. Okay. So I'm going to stop here for today. I think it has something to do with the fact that the wish was initially like a childhood wish before he had River, before he had anything to like hold him to this world. And I think that's going to have to be what he has to get rid of. He has to let go of River from this world before he can move on and actually go to the moon. But anyway, that's all for this episode. So thank you so much for watching. Until next time, guys. I'll see you later. And I lost my train of thought. Thanks, you stupid advertisement. I don't even know what I was saying now. Now I look a complete freaking idiot thanks to you. I don't need any help. Oh, wait. Oh, I know where this is. This freaking rock with a mustache on it. You like to wander. You must be young. Did it say that because I came back?